Hey guys and welcome to Compared, a brand new series on Speedline Technology which talks about the top three of something. So the something in this video is actually going to be anti-theft apps for mobile devices, Android and o iOS. So most modern smartphones come with built-in applications which will allow you to remotely locate, lock or wipe your device when it gets stolen or lost. But these don't always offer enough features. So that's why today I'm going to be showing you some of the best third-party apps that you can use. Avast Anti-Theft is one of the less popular anti-theft apps, but it's actually one of the best. So this is one of the apps I'm going to be reviewing today. So it's easy to set up. You just need to uh, set your name, a PIN, and a friend's number for SMS notifications. As you can see, I just use zeros for testing purposes. Um, and then you can set up an online account, which I had already done. So I just had to log into it. Uh, it says sign in, but it actually means sign up. That does work as well. Then they send you a verification email. I did learn that along the way. Uh, you'll need to tick a box if you're running Android 4.4, which is basically the Nexus 5 and some of the more newer phones. And then it opens up straight away. And you can just tweak the settings. And then as soon as you exit out, it closes. And that's it. You can't use it again until you set it to open remotely from the login on their website. The second app, however, is Prey, uh, PreyProject.com. And this is also a, another app, but it's different. It uses reports um, to, uh, like track your phone and stuff rather than giving it to you on request you have to wait every five minutes for a report it also has a very good camouflage mode so when the uh, robber opens the app it looks just like a game and prompts you to type in a password and if you type in this password wrong three times as you can see it closes down the third app we're going to be looking at is Lookout, which is a more popular application and it's more used in the United States. Um, and yeah, this one has a little less features because you have to pay for a subscription to use most of the features. But again, you have to sign up for an account and you can use it online. The only difference with this one is I don't think you can text the phone to do things you have to go online to control it you can't sms it so as you can see there's some of the features uh that you have to pay for as soon as you open it it starts doing a virus scan as well which is a neat feature about this app it has a built-in virus protection unlike the other three uh the other two apps we are going to be testing all three of these apps have built-in screen features, which I'm going to be testing right now. So I'm not going to speak for this test, uh, because I'll probably, you probably won't be able to hear me. You'll see what I mean in a second. This phone has been lost or is stolen. So here I'm just testing remote lock-in on Avast. So unfortunately this does instantly set off the siren as well as lock the phone, which was quite unexpected. Um, yeah. The lock uh, feature on Prey is a little different because it doesn't instantly set off an alarm and it's quicker to set up and then you can just set it whenever you want unfortunately with the lockout app though you have to have a premium package to get the lock feature which kinda sucks so moving on to the wipe feature it's very easy with vast you just select wipe from the drop down menu and then press send to remotely wipe your phone Lookout is probably the same, but unfortunately, again, you have to have the premium package to use the wipe feature. And Prey doesn't actually have one at all. Moving on, um, I'm just going to show you the GPS location tracking right here. We're using Avast. It's very simple. 
and you can view it in standard or satellite mode as usual using a Google map. I've had to blur it out. And this is the lookout version. Um, as you can see, they have a nicer website design. Also, you can do the same with Prey, but I haven't shown that in this video because it doesn't give you a Google map. It just gives you a picture of the location and I couldn't zoom out so the next feature I'm going to be showing you is um, the uh, messaging feature and it's simple with Avast you just select it from the drop down menu and type in your message and then click send and it will come straight up on your phone as you can see any second now uh, there we go this is a message from the device owner hello Another great feature of Avast is that it has a snapshot feature which will take a snapshot using the front facing camera of the robber or wherever the phone is. But unfortunately you have to have a premium package to do this. With Prey however, it is free. Just uh, slide across the webcam to on and save your changes and then in the report you will see a picture of the person who has stolen your phone or wherever it is that you left your phone. As you can see, I had a little problem with it. The pictures were turning upside down and I couldn't seem to work a way around this, unfortunately. Also, you can text your phone from another phone. There are a lot of commands, about eight on Prey and like I think it's like 25 on um, Avast, which is really good you just have to type in your password or pin so right here I'm just going to be testing uh, one out this is the Avast one so I typed in my pin which is 1234 then message to do the message thing and then my message which is hello and send and any second now that should come up on my phone there we go you can see this is a message from the device owner hello just like earlier when we did it from the internet version Um, another great feature of Avast is the call forwarding feature. So you can have all the f calls uh, silently forwarded to a external number. So now moving on to the conclusion of the top three anti-theft apps compared, I'm going to be giving four light bulbs to Avast because it has a lot of great features, but I couldn't give it the last one because it does have premium features and I'm mainly focusing on the free app and then I'm going to give free light bulbs to Prey because it has a lot of great features but uh, unfortunately you can only get reports every five minutes and then I'm going to give Lookout one light bulb because you have to uh, pay for a lot of stuff you have to have the premium package and there isn't that many features at all so yeah but an upside of it it does have virus protection which is really good and accurate so I do recommend it for that. Anyway that's it for this episode of Compared. If you'd like to download any of this, these apps there will be links in the description below and if you have any questions feel free to go over to our website and leave us a support ticket or an email and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.